Hi Chris, uh, how are you? Uh, hi Mr. Moni, how are you? Uh, thanks for in for visiting my uh, my video. I'm sitting outside. It's a bit noisy, so can I with you? Just let me know. I was just doing a few tests, but later uh, the last video, so now I know uh, that I cannot play music. Something went wrong, I think. Mm, okay, now. Uh, so we can go on. And after I had your confirmation, Kuti. Hi, Stimbi, Lenin how are you? Um, is there anyone who does not understand Shona? Uh, then please let me know. And um, if you can hear me well, please let me know as well. So, like um, I'm just wanted to talk about uh, the reason why we enslave ourselves. We kind of imitate a lot and we lose our identity. Hi, Mr. Uh, Ron Ron DJ Mrise. Mrise say koko kwenyo. And thanks for being here. I see. Okay, no, I, I, I am not gonna speak in Sean. I'll try to be to do it in English. Um, my English is not that good, very well, at least not that well. Uh, like the people, the, like people could understand, or I used to, because uh, I also speak Dutch at the same time. So it's like. Um, Is there anyone who could try to explain to us uh, the reason why we are still enslaving ourselves? Uh, we are still slaves in a way, and it's no longer like um, like the way it used to be before. Very direct people being beaten up and um, uh, people being uh, yeah put in, to work without being paid and stuff. But there is a, a different way of uh, slavery that's going on right now and uh, we kind of enslave ourselves as well we agree to such things like um, wearing extensions uh, is one of the examples as well and enlightening our skins and um, trying to imitate uh, the western world actually uh, but we do not do that only. It's not only the way we look. It's also the way we behave, the way we speak, the, what, what we eat. Um, and I think especially the food, for instance, I just discovered last week I, uh, I, I received food from, uh, from Zimbabwe as well. And I, you just realize that the taste is different. <laughs> okay, Anisu. So it's like um, you see that people are even making production of food, uh, imitating the Western world, the way they uh, industrialize their own type of uh, food and clothes. And so it's like we, at the end, we no longer have our own identity, what we used to have uh, long back. And I remember the food tasted very well in Zimbabwe when I grew up. But now it's like um, the food has changed, the type of food has changed and the tastes are changing. And I think many things have changed. Um, it's not, on, not only because of poverty, but of course the moment we bring a lot of Chinese people in Africa, a lot of uh, British people, of course, even other Dutch people, whoever lives in, in Zimbabwe, uh, Indian people, they bring their own tastes. In, uh, and if we fail to keep our own identity, our own type of foods, we keep enslaving ourselves because we always think the grass is greener somewhere else. So that's what happens, what I'm seeing happening. And how do we stop something like that? So I was wondering if there's anyone who wants to come and uh, maybe um, help me on this topic because it's, to it's a topic that bothers me so much. Um, I want at least us to to have this awareness of uh, the reasons why we keep imitating the other worlds, yet we have our own identity. So, 
hi everyone who is coming in let me just greet you a little bit hi miles uh i have greet i have greet you already and hi um mr v mulungi how are you hi phil how are you uh tatenta thank you for coming in how are you hi haneke how are you how is it there in indonesia so everyone is being a great uh, I have greeted you guys, so I hope you can hear me. Maybe there might be a delay. So, yeah, so I don't know. Um, I'm wondering if there's anyone who thinks differently. And uh, the other thing is um, the um, the other way of uh, doing business. Like I'm seeing people who want to do business uh, like charity, you know, like talk to these non non-governmental organizations. Uh, people are taking it over uh, from the Western world, which is very good. Uh, keep it up. But what I'm seeing now is people are doing it exactly the same way the Western people have been doing it. Like just taking old clothes from, from Europe and send it back home. Uh, you know, like gathering old stuff and bring it back home. And then it, at home, then they start selling it. And then we keep the poverty it's not like we we will build our own buildings and having shops like we used to have before but by sending old stuff back home we are not improving our economy you are only helping for a short term so i think it's important for all of us to, to to recognize the reasons why we do not want to imitate the way western people or western culture has been helping us so-called helping us uh, using the non-governmental organizations so like charity uh, uh, charity organizations you see so uh, what i'm trying to say is um, why don't we educate ourselves when it comes to the um, the gap between why we do not want uh, western people to come and help us and we helping ourselves we helping uh, our african children that are there not calling them poor but knowing that we grew up we grew up in Africa and we, we had what they may not have now and what are the things that they are missing and the real things. Not like you think, oh, I'm going to give them the, uh, a computer, I'm going to give them a tablet, I'm going to give them a, an iPhone. I think you are not improving anything to them. You are only doing something that you are actually against. Because when you are telling me, oh, here there is, uh, the iPhone is actually not good for you because you are always there, you are, you are not... Uh, improving your communication skills yeah why don't we try to 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 see the gap between the those organizations and the organizations we want to create especially when you live in diaspora and you want to go home and help people why can't we see that gap because why do we imitate the the white people who go to africa and help them we need that that point to be to be seen straight and let's, let's not praise ourselves, like especially when you, when you think you're helping people at home, you're kind of making pictures of yourself saying, oh, I have helped people, Kumba. You're helping yourself as well because you are here in the diaspora. At the same time, at the end, you want to go back home. You want the economical situation to improve. You want the social, social status to improve. You want everything to improve. So when we work together, we need to talk about the reasons why we see that the European people, the Western people, the reasons why we do not want, want them to go home and help us. They are, of course, practicing modern colonization. And that modern colonization that they are practicing is not something that we want to imitate. Why do we think we are imitating that? It's because when you see um, somebody with a little bit of money as an African, they kind of enslave um, the poor Africans, the people without money. And to them, they con consider them poor and they help them with some money. Yeah, that, that, that gap should be broken as well because I think it's our money, all of us, and we should try to, re to distribute it among, among us ourselves instead of having the the non-balanced situation whereby one uh, African person is much richer than the, um, another African person who is even looking up to the other person. And maybe then there won't be balance, either, uh, either respect or there won't be any balance of uh, 
healthy, everything will be, won't be balanced. And that's happening now, of course, because... I mean, I'm not waiting for somebody to say to me, oh, sis, you should help me with uh, a computer. Oh, sis, you should. At least I want to have a communication program where I have somebody who lives in Zimbabwe trying to teach me something as well and me teaching them something. So we have a balanced uh, situation. Um, anyway, I'm talking too much right now. Is there anyone who wants to be added or to come and maybe elaborate with me about what I'm talking about was I, I do understand that maybe people think differently and I do understand that uh, somebody else has something better to say than what I have to say but to trigger this issue somebody has to start with the topic because it's something that's bothering me of course and we need at least to help one another on this so feel free to add to, to press add and then I can add you I hope I'm talking sense because um, I cannot hear two topics at the same time but you can also talk about what you think about the hair extensions the, um, you can also talk about what you think about the skin lightening, the type of clothes uh, you can talk about anything, it's, it's all to do with e us enslaving ourselves of course, so the imitations the way we imitate uh, the Western world, how can we gradually stop that? Not necessarily stop immediately, or how can we combine things and make, make them balanced? So that's what I'm looking for. So, um, uh, hi Malume, welcome. Uh, thank you for being here. So, um, yeah, well, so I'm waiting for somebody who may know more about this. And even if you don't know, um, we are very much welcome. So to, 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 to talk and discuss about this, I feel sometimes like I'm talking to myself. So I like, oh, let me hear what other people have to say. So please, I, I'm waiting for you to add, to be added, or at least to respond. Because you remember, I was um, like recently, I was calling um, the, these organizations in uh, Europe, in the Western world, of course, in the Netherlands. I was calling them and ask, what is it that they do when they go to Africa? What kind of help do they offer in Africa? And of course, at the end, uh, you f you feel confronted when you hear that it's also our fault. We accept that help just as much as we enslave ourselves and just as much as we are so lazy to do things ourselves and just as much as when we do it ourselves we kind of imitate the way the western people were doing it yet we know those western people were doing it in a way that we do not want and i think when you then want to try to put it in your own hands how do you do it you have to do it the african way because that african way the western people do not know it how were we surviving earlier how were we surviving before all this modern uh, industrial or, uh, way of living, even though we would have industries in Africa, even if though we would have things like a bullet train, how do we combine that with our typically traditional way of living? So I think um, we, we need to consider such things as well. So uh, Bija na bija, bija na bija, na kamba kwe kamba bija. 
Hey Priska So there we go. I was just playing some music. So uh, waiting for you guys to come back again and um, yeah. that's what i was talking about and this is the topic and um i think um hi me how are you yeah i'm just talking about a few things uh, like now we can see the topic it's pinned so if in case you want to join please feel free to do so and i'm waiting for somebody who is uh prepared to come and talk to me about this mm. i want to hear what other people think why do we enslave ourselves that's how i've managed to call it and um why do we uh why does it feel like we yeah i'm fine me i'm i'm, I'm doing good how about you i just have a little bit of headache today but i'm feeling okay you know uh, it's a bit cold, so that's why I'm... And I like sitting outside. I love being outside. So as long as it's dry, I just sit outside and work outside if it's possible. So... How are the kids doing? So anyway, uh, to go back to my topic, uh, it's, I, I just cannot stand the fact that we are enslaving ourselves and we maybe sometimes we even cannot see that and we think we are being modern when we imitate the western cultures the western world and we forget the rest we forget our culture oh thanks a lot me i no, no, i'm not feeling very sick or anything but i'm just a little bit of headache <laughs> i'll be fine so um Saiwa, what do you think about um, everything happening now so far in the world whereby Africans are being seen as poor people all the time, yet and we Africans, we imitate the Western world most of the time. Uh, it's like um, we have no identity anymore. Our identity is destroyed and we destroyed ourselves as well. So it's like... Um, we cannot feel confident enough being an African. We, we do not feel like wearing our African clothes. And if we do so, we still do not uh, feel comfortable talking about our African heritage, our African traditional uh, stuff and things, our African food. We have so many things that we are hiding behind us because we are ashamed of who we are. And um, if we see the entrepreneurs, we see the business people, those people who are kind of an example, are behaving as if they are Western people and they are doing the business the Western way. So is it why, what we are waiting for? Is it what we are looking for? Um, like, for instance, uh, when you see people wearing a suit and they are in a church and, um, and I'm like, okay, oh, wow, okay. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be like. It's not like I'm forbidding people to do the Western way, but I, it, I think it's good to combine. It's good to, to have balance because Western people would never do such things. They would never wear African uh, African uh, clothes. They would never cook African food every day. 
and I think why is because they have uh, they have managed to get us into their system so that we follow the way they do it and I think it's important for us then to to to, to re-recognize our own identity and that's what I'm talking about so Hi Alita, thanks for coming in. I guess the time that I I uh, I did the live video, most people are working, and I think um, the people who are watching are just waiting to hear what they. <laughs> so I think uh, I'm going to to cut my video and do it next time because uh, I have to do a few things in the house as well. Um, my daughter is calling me uh, so I'm sorry guys I will see you later maybe tomorrow okay um